nak awak yang tu lah jangan lupa subscribe channel kita tanda sokongan terima kasih Hai Assalamualaikum jom kita revise sambil berehat sambil berehat pun kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone apa tunggu lagi jom kita mula Hi guys, do you know that Isaac Newton was the first to come up with the idea that all objects are attracted towards each other by gravity? Even people are attracted towards each other by gravity, but the attraction force between them is so small that it is not noticeable compared to the attraction force between a person and the earth. This is because gravity only becomes noticeable if one or both of the objects has a lot of mass, such as the Earth. Sebab itu, kita boleh rasa tarikan gravity due to the Earth, which is in downward direction, jika dibandingkan dengan attraction force between you and your friend. Then when we discuss a system like the Earth and the Moon, we must understand that both of these masses exert gravitational force towards each other and these forces are equal in magnitude but opposite direction. Atau contoh lain adalah berkenaan dengan satellite that orbiting around the Earth. There is also an attractive gravitational force between satellite and the Earth. Boleh? And Newton also realized that gravity acts everywhere in the universe, not just on the earth, such as a force that makes an apple fall to the ground, atau a force that keeps the moon orbiting around the earth, and the last one, there is a force that keeps all the planets in our solar system orbiting around the sun. So, what Newton realized is now called the law of universal gravitation. So based on Newton's law of gravitation, it states that a magnitude of an attractive force between two point masses is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So remember, when the gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of their masses capital M and small m, so when the product of small m and capital M is bigger, so the gravitational force between these two point masses also bigger. Okay, they akan bertambah. But what happen if the distance between these two point masses is increasing? Mass 1 and mass 2 jaraknya semakin jauh so since the gravitational force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them bila r increase what happened to the gravitational force the gravitational force akan decrease okay so based on the gravitational force equation we can write fg is equal to g mm over r squared where capital G is the universal gravitational constant, capital M is the mass of a particle 1, and small m is the mass of the particle 2. And r is the distance between particle 1 and particle 2. And then remember that this is a force, so the unit is Newton, and force is a vector quantity. So bila kita perlu tulis jawapan, kita mesti ada arah, iaitu direction, dan juga magnitude of the force. So for example here we have two point masses so when we want to draw the direction of the gravitational force on the earth due to the moon so the direction should be to the right means that bumi akan attracted to moon which is to the right and the direction of the gravitational force on the moon due to the earth should be to the left which is opposite direction Alright, and when we try to calculate the magnitude of the gravitational force between the moon and the earth, we can say that the magnitude Fem is equal to Fme. Maknanya, magnitude of the gravitational force on the earth due to the moon is equal to the magnitude of the gravitational force on the moon due to the earth. 
Tetapi magnitude-nya sama direction of the force berbeza. Kita boleh lihat direction of FEM is to the right but the direction of FME is to the left. Alright, now let's say here we have two point masses which are the earth and the moon and the distance from the center of the earth to the center of the moon is given by small r. Okay, and let's say here we have a third mass which is a satellite okay, with a mass of ms and the distance of the satellite from the center of the earth is given by x. Okay. Jadi, jarak antara satellite from the center of the earth adalah x means that jarak daripada satellite to the center of the moon adalah r minus x. So, the first question, how to calculate the net gravitational force on the satellite? The net gravitational force means that the total gravitational force on the satellite. So, saya highlightkan perkataan on means that Awak perlu lukis direction of the gravitational force on the satellite due to the earth and also direction of the gravitational force on the satellite due to the moon. Alright, now let's draw the direction of the gravitational force on the satellite due to the earth which is to the left and then the direction of the gravitational force on the satellite due to the moon is to the right. Since kedudukan bumi di sebelah kiri awak, so satellite kita boleh assume it will be attracted toward to the earth. So kedudukan bumi sebelah kiri, so the direction of the gravitational force on the satellite due to the earth mesti di sebelah kiri lah, to the left. And then the direction of the gravitational force on the satellite due to the moon, since the position of the moon is on your right, so the direction of the gravitational force on satellite due to the moon would be to the right. Boleh? So now let's write the equation. The total gravitational force on the satellite is equal to FSM since the direction is to the right. So it is positive plus negative FSE since the direction of the gravitational force on the satellite due to the earth is to the left. So it is negative value. And then we can substitute the equation of the gravitational force. So remember FSM, gravitational force between the satellite and the moon. Okay, but FSE is the gravitational force between the satellite and the earth. Okay, so kita mesti masukkan nilai yang betul, mass yang betul. FSM between mass of satellite and mass of the moon, while FSE is the mass of the satellite and the mass of the earth. And then, remember that the distance between the satellite and the moon is r minus x, while the distance between the satellite and the earth is given by x. Okay, so saya ada highlight dengan color merah itu, so pastikan awak tulis dengan betul dan tidak melakukan kesilapan. So based on the information given by the question, finally you can find jumlah gravitational force ke atas satellite tersebut berapa. Okay? Dan jangan lupa, bila kira jawapan mesti tinggalkan dengan unit yang betul which is Newton. Boleh? Okay, now let's proceed to the second question. Let's say the question asks you to find or calculate the position of the satellite from the earth if the net force on it is equal to zero. Kita nak cari dekat mana kita nak letak satellite ni so that the net force on the satellite is equal to zero. So, we still use the same equation. Total Fs equal to Fsm plus negative Fse. Okay? So, the next step, we need to substitute the total force on the satellite is equal to zero. Soalan dah sebut, the net force on the satellite is equal to zero. So, let's write zero for the net force on the satellite. And then, we can rearrange the equation. So, Fsm is equal to Fse. So, now we can substitute the equation for the gravitational force between the satellite and the earth and also gravitational force between the satellite and the moon. 
So since both sides has the gravitational universal constant capital G and the mass of the satellite MS, so we can cancel G and MS. So lebih mudah untuk kita rearrange the equation and solve for X. Jadi ini part yang paling penting tengok pada equation. So kita kumpulkan semua expression yang ada squared on one side. Okay, don't expand the bracket. Okay, so jangan buat quadratic equation. So apa yang lebih mudah? So we move x squared to the other side and m to the other side. And then we can see here the new equation x squared over r minus x squared. So now to make it easier, we can take the square root on the both side so that we can cancel the squared in x and also r minus x. Okay. So when you take the square root on the both side, dia akan lebih memudahkan kita untuk menyelesaikan soalan ini untuk mengira X di mana X adalah position daripada center of the earth. Kita akan sambung dalam video seterusnya di mana kita akan buat lebih banyak contoh soalan berkaitan dengan gravitational force. Itu saja untuk video kali ini. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.